found yeah. that mammoth was a perfect lead into our next segment, creature feature, but we'll actually be looking at live animals with Corbin. Yeah, you'll notice Corbin's not here because this time we went to the animals. See how creature feature really took off. It's time for Creature Feature with Corbin Maxi. We're on location. We haven't been on location for a while, but we're right outside the city of Boise. A beautiful view of Boise behind us today. Yes, yes. You're probably wondering where we're at. We are at the World Center for Birds of Prey here, and it was like, what, maybe 10 minutes outside of town? Not that far. Not that far. We went all the way up the hill. Boise's behind us. We're going to go into the center, check out some awesome birds. Uh, it's pretty fantastic. I should see some. So. Yeah, we've got to go inside to do it. Let's go. All right. Okay, we made it inside the Velma Morrison Interpretive Center, and Corbin has us hooked up with some of the experts here, right? Absolutely. We are joined by raptor specialist Trish Nixon. She has been doing this for, I mean, probably as long as I've been alive. So I'm, which, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, what do we have here, Trish? Well, in addition to one very old person. No, I, <laughs> I know. A very I young have, bird, I've been here right? a long time. Yes, exactly. a very young bird and a very old person. This is uh, Benito. He was hatched on Cinco de Mayo. So we couldn't resist naming him Benito, but he is 26 days old and he is eventually going to be one of the fastest animals on the planet. He's a peregrine falcon chick. I have to ask how fast then can, is he going to be able to go one day? They have been clocked at 262 miles an hour in a high speed dive, which Whoa. is called a stoop. Wow. So um, he is far from that at this point. As you can see, he's laying down. Um, he just, he was standing before the camera turned on, but uh, yeah, right now it's all about growing feathers. Yeah. which takes up every calorie. So did someone bring Bonito in? Was he a rescue bird? No, uh, he was actually hatched here. I'm glad you mentioned the rescue thing. See, there you go, Trish. Um, yeah, our, big, <laughs> our big uh, identity crisis here is that people see the term World Center for Birds of Prey, and they assume, uh, kind of logically, that we probably do rescue in addition to other things. We do no rescue. We breed and release endangered birds of prey. So while we would love to help out injured birds. We have a list of uh, raptor rehabilitators that if somebody finds a red-tailed hawk with a broken wing or a bird that's been shot, uh, we can certainly direct them to the right kind of people. But because we've got very endangered birds here, the California condor and the Aplomato falcon, we can't risk bringing somebody with a disease onto the facility. So don't bring us injured birds. <laughs> and, and this facility, uh, as we look around, you can tell, in fact, you've been telling me that pretty soon you're going to have uh, some field trips with elementary kids coming in and everything. Mm -hmm. This place is all about education, right? Exactly. Um, not just kids' education, although this springtime is, is the, the time when we get most of the kids coming in. We get anywhere from six to 7,000 school kids here wow. every spring. Uh, today we've got about 100 coming in, so that'll be about You seem so thrilled, by the way. You seem so thrilled. Oh, look at that. That is, and so. He does excited. He is excited about 90 children. So is this animal part, like, of an educational animal ambassador for his children? Is that the, is that the purpose yep. of, okay. Uh, that's, that's why he's here. We got him from our, uh, our breeding barn over there. They still breed some peregrine falcons. Of course, we are best known for getting the peregrine falcon off the endangered species list. Um, but in order to make people have a fondness in their heart for anything, you need to educate them about them, about that uh, species and let them get to know it. So that's what his job will be here, along with our 26 other education birds. Um, and he's already seen about four or 500 kids in the oh. last couple of weeks. And he's, and only a few, he's only a few days old, and he's going to grow up to be one of the fastest animals on the planet, like yeah. you said. So here at the Interpretive Center, this is the kind of stuff that we're learning about. And I'm learning a lot of stuff here, as always. Absolutely. Creature Creature, as I know, always. Trish is better than I am on Creature <laughs> yeah. Feature. So we're, we're going to see a whole lot more in the coming weeks on Creature Feature. Thanks so much, Trish. That's incredible. Yeah, pretty cool stuff right there. He's just itty bitty right now, but I bet if we were to go back right now Big this week, eye. he'd already be bigger, you know? So cool stuff Good right job. there. Good job. Well, we're right back after this after a final look at your top stories, commute, and the forecast.